Hello and welcome to the book study. My name is Pete Hall. I'm one of the authors of uh, this great book, Teach, Reflect, Learn. And uh, my co-author and I, Elisa Simmerall, wrote this very specifically for our teachers. And as you embark upon this book study, there's a couple of things that we just want to make sure that you know and that you acknowledge. One is that there is no uh, study guide for this book, and that's very intentional. You don't need a study guide because this is a very self-directed, self-motivated, uh, self-governed investigation into your own professional learning. Uh, we want to commend you for that and uh, encourage you to go forth and seek out the strategies that support your own reflective growth as you investigate how to uh, continue to grow as a professional. A couple other things. Uh, the book is organized uh, in kind of a neat way. Chapter one is an, a celebration of teachers. Uh, chapter two talks about the importance of self-reflection, which I don't think we talk about enough in education. Uh, chapter three then gives you a self-assessment, and I want to be very clear in my advice here. When you take that self-assessment, be extremely, brutally, honestly, uh, authentic and honest in your responses you are going to get the best information and the best guidance if you answer those 10 questions very honestly. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer except the right answer is the honest answer. So hopefully I've made that pretty clear. Uh, chapter four then talks about this tool, the continuum of self-reflection, and then the book kind of reads like a choose your own adventure book that we may have read when we were kids. You'll go to either chapter five or six or seven depending on the results of your self-assessment and uh, there are tasks there for you. There are things for you to, to tackle, to try out, to, uh, to make sure that you're growing and partnering with your colleagues and your coaches and your administrators. And uh, I guess the last little piece of advice is while you're reading that chapter, five, six, seven, or eight, it should be written to you. You should say, man, these people are, it's like they're writing to me. Well, that's the intent. And if that's the case, then you probably took your self-assessment accurately. Congratulations. Uh, if it's not the case, you may want to go back to your self-assessment and make sure that you are answering those questions honestly to make sure that you are uh, receiving the proper guidance for your reading. So again, I want to commend you on your investigation and your pursuit of ongoing professional growth. Welcome you to the book study. Read often. Reflect always. Thanks.